everyone you know we are happily demonstrating all our new adjustments and really the theme of this particular conversation today which is uh, thriving Tuesdays and we have moved from Thursday so we want to sort of show you we have you know understood that this is the sign of our times this is really how we are now we're kind of living a whole new outlook and so while our counseling service is strong and still intact. We're doing crisis intervention. We're doing consultation and coaching. So this particular topic is kind of dovetailing into what I've learned from how we begin coaching, because coaching all is about change. People sometimes want to make changes. They're adjusting to changes. Uh, we are doing that ourselves and how we access our own kind of strength and leadership as we go forward in making change. So where I begin with a lot of this in individual work is really sort of the mindset. What do we need as a mindset for making change? So it really starts with our humility. And that's a powerful term. It carries a lot, but it really has to be a mindset that is based on equality. It's a really fundamental mission and value that equal and unique is what we all bring to any circumstance of change and adjustment. So oftentimes when you ask someone, well, okay, let's kind of take a look within, in the spirit of humanity, sometimes people think it's dismissing their strengths or not, you know, acknowledging all they do well, and it really is just the opposite. It's really a graceful assertiveness in the truth of you. So it is oftentimes acknowledging what you can do, what you have, what you offer, what you share. So humility is, you know, encompassing of that. And like we said before, it's really that willingness and openness to learn. So we're all lifelong learners here, you know, in this experience. And in previous conversations, we have said, you know, it's, it's about our innovation. So giving a hint has to do with humility, inquiry, nurturing, and transformation. The core element of this is inquiry, because we are looking within, we are really asking ourselves questions. Um, one of the main kind of initiatives in any kind of coaching and in a philosophy around individual change, unit change, department change, organizational change is appreciative inquiry. It started a number of years ago and it's really sort of a core design and a way in which people and organizations can look at how to change. So it really brings about the curiosity to understand. It began with uh, two researchers, uh, David Cooper Ryder and Shiraz Shivastra, and it started at the Cleveland Clinic, and they were needing a residence for families to go and stay while uh, family members were healing. And there was sort of a rundown hotel across the way and they decided that this would be a good location and they purchased it and they created a brand new state of the art, you know, dwelling for families. And in that they saw, wow, this could invigorate the staff and it could bring them and rise to the occasion. So after a while they realized it was still struggling that somehow the transformation on the outside wasn't helping the transformation on the inside. So what they did was they said, okay, go out to the top places that you can find, the best of the best, and rather than look for what's wrong, look for what's right. And so they did. They commissioned them, they went out, they gathered all this data and they came back with their positive stories, with their ways of sharing, what worked, what made it the best. And when they began to redesign from within, they recreated a whole new identity and a whole new way of thinking and being. So this is truly what we would say, look at what's working. What are our positive stories? Where could we create 
ourselves with new possibilities. Um, these four dimensions come from appreciative inquiry, discovery, dream, design, and destiny. And they're all much uh, more fully explained. Uh, I'd encourage you to go and look it up. But you really start with what is the best that could be? What could we make? You know, in coaching, a lot of times we start with the ideal. We say, what would be the ideal? What would be the best outcome of this? How could we make it the best? And then we begin to work back to what do we need to do today to, to make that so? So this is where, you know, the bottom line of appreciative inquiry is looking for strengths everywhere. And strength-based growth is really uh, the strongest way to go. So once you really have sort of designed and really grown in that direction, it's about nurturing, it's about sustaining, it's about keeping things going in that direction. And, you know, like anything, we start off with new habits and we have great intentions and it's really about, you know, how then do we keep it going? And neuroscience will tell us that if we create a positive outlook, if we create positive thinking and reward and acknowledgement from within, we sustain that change and we sustain where it can go. Um, you know, ultimately, you know, transformation continues and is always evolving. We are discovering, you know, kind of ourselves anew in many different places. So sometimes it's that balance of saying, well, you know, incorporating a new way of thinking or a new way of doing something for yourself isn't losing something from before. It's, it's just really adding in. It's adding to the dimension of you that makes it stronger, that makes us a little bit more, you know, open to, you know, really growing and creating great possibilities everywhere. So I want to encourage you to keep things going. Yes, we have to face, you know, real decisions, real things that are coming about. How do we do that? But we can always keep a sense of the truth of you, your strengths, what you know you bring, and beginning to see that as really that's how we transform and that's how we transcend. So I'd like to hear if anyone has any questions or interests, I'm happy to, to take them. Can you see the chat, Cindy? Uh, I'm looking in chat to see. Nothing right now. Be sure to uh, tune in now from here on with our Thriving Tuesdays. Um, and I would encourage you, if you have um, any questions, concerns, if you have topics that we could offer that we could support you with sharing, um, we're really happy to do that. We want to learn and understand how to be of service and the best support to you. And uh, as you see at the top, you can always contact us by email or phone. Our appointments happen by Zoom and also telephone. So we're busy and we always create time. We will not hesitate in a moment to reach out to you if it's ever needed. So I wish you all the best. And how are we doing, Susan? Any other? Good. I don't see any chats coming through. Okay. Anyone? <clears throat> Any questions? Well, go forth today and have a thought that you might take a moment, begin to stop and really just look at your truth of you, what you know you bring, what you are. And, you know, this is our heart and soul of what we do in our work, in our career, in our home life, and our society. We're really growing, you know, new ways of living. So you're leaders in every aspect of that. So fulfill what you have in your heart and mind to make it um, the best it can be. So uh, thank you for your time. Always appreciate all your attendance. So give us a ring. Let us know if you have anything. 
you need or that we could offer, that we can add to our topics. We'd love to know that. Thank you, Cindy. All right. Take good care, everyone. Be safe.